Hey, what's up guys? So at the time of recording this, this is literally right after the Evo Championships. There has been some absolutely phenomenal things that were announced, uh, well, after the KOF Evo Championships. And I can't, I, I, I can't say I've been more excited in my entire life. I know it's been a while since I posted anything, um, especially with the fact that, you know, I've been generally doing Metroid content. Um, but there's another game franchise that I love just as much as I love Metroid. And I don't doubt that if y'all have seen my setup, you can probably guess what it is. I mean, after all, I've got this, I've got this, I've got the Fatal Fury hat and wig. I've got the Terry Bogard art all the way up here. I am a huge fan of anything and everything Fatal Fury and KOF. But today, after the uh, after the championships were done, there was just an amazing set of announcements from um, from S and K themselves. We all know that they were going to reveal DLC Team Four today. Um, we were all expecting that. What happened that they did do? We were not expecting. So, with that said. Let's get into it, this and see what we got. So, first big thing right off the get-go is we've got KOF 15 DLC New Characters Trailer. This is what we were expecting. Super hype. Not, not maybe not necessarily the, the characters we were expecting, but, you know, we're still, we were, we were expecting this kind of, you know, trailer. So let's let's go ahead and take a, a good look at this. So DLC characters. Team three. We got Team Orochi. Which Team Orochi looks amazing. I can't wait for them to drop tomorrow. I'm so exploited uh, ah, excited to play Team uh Orochi Yashihiro. I'm not too bit too worried about Shermy, I'll give her a try. And of course, Orochi Chris is a lot of fun as well. Um, and oddly enough, you know, I'm usually a fairly zoner based character. I'm a Samus made in Smash after all. Like, I like zoners. I don't care for Orochi. Ah, uh, share me. So we get the same trailer that they played before when they first revealed Team Orochi. Absolutely phenomenal, amazing. Like, I can't say how much I adore this, but then they're like, I, Team 4. Team 4 kind of caught me off guard. It's something I, I kind of expected, you know, you know, we got bonus content and or costumes for Team 3, but I didn't expect them to go this hard with the Sam, sh Sam Show characters right here. And on top of that, they united every game franchise again under one game. It's absolutely phenomenal. Like, SNK knows what they're doing. And not only that, are they promoting Sam Show with KOF 15 as well. But they gave us Darley. They gave us Darley. And oh my god. This lady. This lady right here. But not just that, not just that. They went a step of above and were like, hey, guess what? Season two, DLC characters, Shingo Yabuki and Tim Tap Wan. They took their time on this because I guarantee you they're making sure that those pants physics are absolutely phenomenal for King of Fighters fifth Team. So, on top of that, we get crossplay for all the KOF 15s. What more could we, we ask for, you ask? What more could we ask for, you ask? And not only did they deliver, but they brought out 
the big guns. Let's take a look at it right now. These are the true big guns shown at EVO. The city of legend still breathes. Hungry wolves back on the prowl. A new destiny hidden in darkness. Garo, Mark of the Wolves 2. I have waited so long for a brand new Fatal Fury slash Garo game. And we are getting it. We are absolutely getting it. Like, look at this art. Look at this art. And I just clicked on the wrong screen for that. I did, I did. Look at this beautiful, beautiful art. This is phenomenal. Like, this is an announcement that <laughs> I honestly cannot believe came about. Y'all did not get my original reaction, but that fur that that was literally tears. Tears of joy came from my eyes when I saw that pop up. I absolutely adore the Fatal Fury series. It's what got me into fighting games in the first place. Without it, I would have never gotten into Smash, most likely. Would have never played King of uh, Tekken. I would have never played Dead or Alive. I would have never played KOF. I would have never played um, Street Fighter. Granted, I'm not a big Street Fighter fan. But this is phenomenal. Like, we've been waiting 23 years. 23 years for the continuation of Garo, Mark of the Wolves. And it has been greenlit. They have artwork now. They're going through the concept phases. We might have another four years to wait. But I highly doubt it. I don't doubt that we're going to see this game in two to three at most and i honestly like i just i don't know like this is phenomenal this kind of stuff is what snk really shines the breath uh, best at <laughs> um and i i can't say anything but thank you snk you have gone above and beyond to make KOF 15 amazing. Yes, we still have some, you know, online netcode issues with rollback being kind of kind of wonky at the moment, but they're working on it. They're giving us crossplay for all the uh, consoles for KOF 15, and on top of that, they said, "Hold up, hold my beer, watch this, and understand that we've got." A new Garo, Season 2 DLC, two characters from that DLC already announced, and we gave you Team 4 already in one announcement. And after those EVO Finals, that Grand Finals, the Top 8, all today, it's just absolutely beautiful snk thank you again and i look forward to seeing what comes of fatal fury and garo mark of the wolves too and guys if y'all didn't hear about it already feel free to hit that like that subscribe and follow me on all social medias you know come come hang out in the twitch chat i will be playing Team Orochi tomorrow on stream around about 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as long as nothing happens with my cat. That's part of the reason why I have not been making videos as often. This one's been just a real quick. I want to show y'all love. want to sh share the announcement and I want to share the hype. So with that, thank you again. Much love. And I will see y'all at the next game.